Hi, I'm Jet Rise from Free Commander Brigade, and today I'll show you a step by step process on how to join one of our servers. We'll follow a four stage process. Firstly, we'll set up Armor FreeSync, which is a launcher and add on synchronization tool. We'll then run through how to connect to our add on repository, and then I'll show you how to install Task Force Radio to TeamSpeak, TeamSpeak being our main communication platform. And finally, I'll show you how to connect to one of our servers. In the description of this video are timestamps which you can skip to if you haven't already completed certain stages. So we'll get started by installing Armor FreeSync. So firstly, navigate to your chosen browser and in the description of this video, you'll see Armor FreeSync followed by a link. Click the link and this will take you to Armorholic. Armorholic is a modern mission hosting website. At the bottom of this website, you'll find a link to download Armor FreeSync. Whilst this is downloading, a very quick reminder, uh, this requires Java Runtime Environment 7 uh, for uh, Armor FreeSync to run. So make sure you have the most up-to-date version by just clicking here if you don't already have it. So as soon as you've got this installed, we're just going to unzip it and install Armor FreeSync. Follow the wizard, accept the agreement and select a directory to install it to. Okay, now we're going to launch Armor FreeSync. The first thing it's going to ask us to go and do is going to select an Armor Free executable location. We're going to select this. Navigate to wherever your armor free is, it'll take you to it by default. Select armor free underscore x64. This represents 64 bit version of armor, so better performing. So once you've done that, we'll now go and select the mod directory. So going to do this, firstly you're going to delete your current directory. We're going to create a new folder inside armor for our mods uh, and set that as our mod directory. Um, we're doing this uh, due to conflictions of workshop. So if you have mods in workshop, for example, in here, you see I have mods. Um, Armour will, will prioritise the mods in here. For example, if I have cup units installed here and cup units installed as part of repository, it will load the one in the workshop. If that's the wrong version, we won't be able to get on our server. So we're going to delete this current directory and select a new one. Navigate to wherever you have Armour installed to. Inside Armour 3, I'm going to create a new folder just called mods. So in that example there, I installed the mods to my actual Armour Free directory, where I have Armour Free installed to on Steam. However, it doesn't really matter where you install your mods to. If you have SSD, always install your mods onto SSD if you have room to. Uh, obviously, mods will be loading faster that way, uh, so better performance in game. Um, obviously, if you have to use a hard drive, use a hard drive. But it doesn't matter where you install it to. You can install it inside your Armour Free directory or outside of it. I only install it inside the Armour Free directory because I find it's easier to manage that way. So once you've done that, we'll move on to step two. So now we're on the step two. Make sure you're on the repositories tab and after that, click the plus symbol. We're first going to import the repository uh, prior to us installing the mods. Now this requires us to have the public auto config URL. Um, this allows us to go and import all the technical information so we don't have to fill it out ourselves. So firstly, type HTTP colon forward slash repo dot free commando brigade dot com slash auto config. Just like that. So once you have it typed in, click import. And once you've done that, click OK. Now sync into the repository and check in what we have. Now it's saying the repository is updated. Now you have a couple of options here. We're now going to move on to the mods, actually installing the mods. Um, you can either download the whole entire repository. So if you're a FreeCP member or you're possibly becoming a member and you're going to want all the mods for all of our different operations, uh, go and click the actual Armour Free Sync repository, then click this button here to connect to the repository. However, if you're just a public member and you want to go and install the mods just with the public server, go and select the events at the bottom, the public mod set, then click connect. Um, the public mod set is significantly smaller than the whole entire repository. Um, so if you want to have a shorter download time and you're only interested in playing public, download the public mod set only. So we'll download the public mod set, click the connect, Okay, let's go check all our files. Now, currently we have none of the mods installed. So the first thing we want to go and do is start installing the mods. So we're going to select tool and just click the play button. Now, that's going to start installing the mods. That may take some time. It's all dependent. I would recommend you go and leave it overnight, depending on your connection. You can also go and change the settings of the connection. So if you pause that, so you can set a number of uh, connections and also you can download uh, or set the maximum download speed. 
okay, I've left this for a while now, and you can see the download add-ons is finished. Um, so next step after this is to move on to step three, which is installing our Task Force Radio to TeamSpeak. Okay, now we're on step three. This step involves us installing Task Force Radio, a plugin for TeamSpeak that allows our communication in-game to be more immersive and making our actual communication have distance and the radio systems being a lot better. Now, if you don't have TeamSpeak installed, it's very simple. Just go and search TeamSpeak free, then download um, via the download page and download the relevant client. Assuming you have TeamSpeak installed, Navigate to the directory of where you have your mods installed to. Now I have mine in Armour 3 as it was in Step 2. So I'm going to navigate to where I have a mod directory to. Okay, so once you reach your mod directory, you want to go and find the folder called at Task Force Radio, which is here. Then inside of that folder, go into TeamSpeak. Now we're going to want to install the actual plugin. When you install it, make sure TeamSpeak is closed down. Just go and double click to install it. And now I will click install. It's basically giving us a warning here to be careful of what uh, plugins we install for security reasons. Just click yes. Now it's going to prompt us to restart our TeamSpeak um, if it was open. Generally, this doesn't allow you to go and actually install it if it is open. Okay, to check that Task Force Radio is enabled, just go and run TeamSpeak. Then go to Tools, Options. Inside the add-ons tab, you should see Task Force Radio installed at the bottom. So now we're on step four to actually connect into one of our servers. First things first, go to launch options and just make sure you have the right profile selected as you can multiple profiles, which changes your key bindings. After that, go and select the join server drop-down box and go and select one of these servers. Now, with the exception of the public server, uh, the rest of these servers are locked and passworded, so obviously only members can go and join, but public members, you can go and join the public server. Select that, and just go and click Start Game. In the meantime, make sure you connect to TeamSpeak. Using this address here, voice.frequentabrigade.com, connect. Connected. And go and wait in the waiting room. Channel switched. It will go and drag you into game in a short period of time once you go and connect to the server. Okay, now we're connected to the server, just going to hit the close button, and now we're onto the roster of uh, the public server. Now you can go and select any of these roles, I highly recommend if it's your first time on the public, you can select a role like Rifleman AT, no kind of command roles like Section Commander or Fire to Meter, but you're more than welcome to take any role on this roster screen, including pilot, artillery operators, etc. So once you're in game, just go and select the role which you choose. I've just selected Rifleman AT and go and click OK. This will take you through the game. Now, when you actually spawn into the game, it will drag you via TeamSpeak into the correct channel, which is Radio Comms A. Channel switched. So there you're here. Uh, us spawning in there and us actually getting changed into the correct TeamSpeak channel. Now as soon as you spawn in there are arsenals over here where you can go and select the gear you want and there's also some billboards around which provides you with some information of how you should be uh, operating whilst on a public server. That's the end of the tutorial. Uh, if you have any problems during the tutorial so you don't understand anything or you get stuck because it's not working there's a couple of options. Uh, you can go and connect to our TeamSpeak and go and uh, head towards our technical help area in which someone will come and go and help you. Or another option is go onto our forums and head over to the technical help uh, forum. Uh, make a forum post of your issue and hopefully people will help you out as soon as possible. Pressure on your pilots, mate, out that helicopter, they're shooting